Hi, I have just finished the test bench software for the VASC and I'm going to show a short demo of it. This is a Raspberry Pi 3 in the official enclosure for the Raspberry Pi using the official touchscreen. And connected to it is a USB memory stick, a USB extension cable that goes to an ST link, and also a plain USB cable that goes to the VASC. In this case, I'm using a VASC 4 because my VASC 6 is on my mountain board. Let's plug in power and see what it looks like. This one should uh, boot, and after booting, it should uh, by default just open TestBench software. And we can start by plugging in the programmer. As you can see, this VASC is connected to a power supply and a motor a programmer and the USB cable. And now that this one has started, since I'm using a VASC4, I have to change the firmware to the VASC4 firmware, but by default everything is for the VASC6 and uh, configured for this programmer. And I then simply click Program and Test and say Report. Now when it's uploading firmware, you can see that the link is blinking, so it's doing something. And after the firmware, it should upload the bootloader, which is a lot quicker. And then it will wait for it to connect over USB. We can see that this one becomes green. And then it measures resistance and inductance. And after that, it measures the flux linkage. And then it compares those values to the reference values that are stored uh, on the memory on the SD card with the operating system and if they are agree or are sufficiently close then the test passes and then this VASC is ready for shipping. We can see in this case that uh, that we got uh, about uh, 0.2 and 1.6 percent in the flux linkage and inductance in difference and we got almost 6 percent difference in resistance and the reason for the different resistance is that uh, I have been running a few tests and this motor has gotten a bit warmer while doing that. So maybe they have to use a fan or something like that when uh, programming all the 100 or so, 150 or so VASCs. Because this one get, get warm and I think eventually this test might fail because the resistance could change more than uh, the threshold. I can also show that uh, I've been experimenting a bit with using the GPIO of the Raspberry Pi for uploading the program instead of the S link. And it works surprisingly well. It actually is faster than this one because the GPIO is probably faster than the microcontroller and this one for, well, toggling the pins. But the problem is that uh, this cable cannot be so long because the signal in integrity is not so great when it's not differential or something like that. So. In that case, you would have to put the VASCs right next to the test bench, and that's a bit inconvenient. But anyway, you can change the mode here as well, to use that one instead. There is also a button to shut down the system, so that you don't have to like shut down the test bench and then use the menus in uh, Ubuntu Mate. We can also have a look at the test report. So if you open the USB memory stick, we can see that there, in the root of the memory stick there is a folder called VASC-log and in this one we have a number of text files and every text file is named after the unique ID of the VASC that is stored on the microcontroller from the factory. This way you can uh, in the future map every test file to every piece of hardware based on the unique ID regardless of the, what the software does. And in this test file we have uh, Essentially everything that was printed in the terminal with the reference motor parameters and the steps that were performed. So that's uh, the VASC test bench. I'm going to send it to uh, Nottingham uh, today or tomorrow. It's a weekend, so we're probably going to leave before tomorrow. And then they should have everything during next week. So thanks for watching.